This is a day that has been long awaited in Toulouse. Everything's being readied for the handover of a plane which boasts the latest the industry can offer in cutting noise, emissions and maintenance costs. Airbus badly needed a model to compete in the global market for wide-bodied twin-engine jets that can go the distance. It's bagged 778 A350 orders so far, and now it's starting with Qatar to hand over the planes from this all-new lean-burning family that'll be versioned to fly up to 369 passengers in comfort for more than six or seven hours at a stretch. The A350 program is Airbus's $15 billion answer to Boeing's 787 Dreamliner. That was the first lightweight design with a high composite content, but had a difficult debut dogged by overheating batteries and initial delivery delays. By comparison, the testing and proving of the A350 has been relatively smooth. This is also in stark comparison to the tricky berth of the four-engined Airbus A380, the world's largest plane, which is so far failing to win enough orders, possibly putting that programme in some doubt. Airbus has long dominated the market for smaller, narrow-bodied jets, but analysts say it needs the larger profits that come from the next size up. The single aisle aircraft, the A320 family in, case, in the case of, uh, of Airbus, obviously that's volume. So if you have high volume, you have lower profits. The twin aisles are where the, are where the, money, uh, the money is made. The A350 has a lot hinging on it for, uh, for Airbus. I think it will be a very, very uh, profitable aircraft for them once they've gone through the, the formative process, once they've got about 300 aircraft out there in, in the sky.